Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the expansion Viticulture World. You will need the base game of the regular Viticulture to be able to play this game. It's also quite special that this expansion turns a competitive game into a cooperative game. So if you're playing this expansion, you'll be working together to beat the game. Here's how it goes. You are going to play until there are no more cards left in this deck at the start of a round. Then the game is over and you check if you have achieved the winning conditions. You all win the game if everyone managed to get at least 25 points and this token has made it all the way to the end. That is what you need to beat the game. If you didn't, then you all lose the game. Next, what is a round? That's quite easy, because that's basically the game board itself going from left to right. First you do this part, spring, then comes summer, after that fall, then comes winter, and you wrap it up with this year end part. Let's go through those step by step. The round starts with spring. The board explains that you first flip over the top card and follow its instructions. The card will speak for itself. Then you need to remove all the tiles that are here. They go out of the game. And you refill all the four spaces with new tiles from the supply. The last bit of spring is that you choose the turn order. Instead of going one by one, you can all decide as a group who should go first, who goes second, and so on. When you've picked the best position for you, you place your own rooster token on that spot in the outer ring and immediately receive the bonus that you see there. This top spot counts as the first space. When everyone has placed their rooster, you move on to Summer. Going in turn order, every player can place one of their workers on the available spots. This is the same as in the regular Viticulture game. But there are two things different. The first one is that some of your workers will have a hat on. That means they are only allowed to be placed during a particular season. The workers with a yellow hat can only be placed on summer spaces. The ones with a blue hat can only be used in winter. And the other thing is that there are two spaces on the game board here that you don't know yet. There is this one that says, pay one to gain one. Basically, that means you can trade. You discard something of your choice, and you get something else of your choice in return. This space will tell you what you have to pay and what you can get. The other new space on the board is Innovate. Then you pay four money to the bank, and you can choose one of these four open tiles here to place on the board. If you take an oval tile, then it goes onto an oval space of your choice. If you choose a rectangular tile, then you have to place that on top of the rectangular space with the same letter. Here is the letter. The letter is also written on the board. As soon as you place the tile, you cover up an icon. That means you immediately get that as a bonus. And a few spaces also say that you actually have to pay something if you put the tile there. When it's your turn and you don't have any workers left to place on the board or you don't want to place any more workers, then you move your own little rooster to the inner circle here and you can choose one of the bonuses that you can see here. And then you wait for all the other players to also finish summer. When everyone is done, it's fall. The instructions are here in the middle of the board. It will explain itself. 
And then winter has come. You do the same as in summer and in the regular game of viticulture. Place one worker in turn order. Here all the spaces are also the same except for three of them. If you go to this spot you can sell a wine token for money. If I sell this wine that is on space 3 in my wine cellar, then I discard the wine and take 3 money from the bank. There is this space that says influence. If you go here you have to pay 8 money and then you can move this token at the bottom one space forward on this track. Don't forget that it needs to reach the end to win the game. And the last spot is this one. Train your workers, just like in the base game. But in Viticulture World you already start the game with all your workers, so here it means you can remove the hat from one of your workers. From that moment on you can use that worker in summer and winter. Now it's a trained worker. This space in the bottom right can be used whenever you want, in summer and winter, and there is no limit for how many workers there can be. When you have no more workers to place, you go to this year-end part, and you don't have to wait for the other players. As soon as you are out of the round, you can immediately do this. Just follow the steps that are listed here. Instead of a limit of 7 cards, the limit is a maximum of 5 cards per player. And as soon as all the players have passed, you move this grape token one space down on the round track. And that's it. This is how you play Viticulture World. A few more details and then we're done. There's also some information at the bottom of the board here. If you are playing with up to three players, you can only put a worker on the left space of an area. If you are with more than three players, you can use both spaces. Your big worker, the grande worker, has the same special ability on the board as in the regular game, where you can place it on the spot that is already occupied. But in this expansion it can do another special thing. If you place the big worker next to a small worker of another player, then you can trade. For example, you could give the other player three money, and that player gives you three purple cards in return. Just keep in mind that you can only do one trade, not more. The board shows you what you're allowed to trade. This says that as soon as you have covered up a space with an oval tile, then from that moment on there is no more limit to how many workers can be in that spot. It's open for everyone. Plus, every worker that isn't wearing a hat also gets the bonus that you can see on the oval tile. Two quick things about cards and then we're done. If a card says opponent, then that means one of the other players, even if they aren't your opponent. And the other thing is, if you take a card from the deck and it has a black border, immediately put it on the discard pile and draw a new card. That's all you need to know to play your first game of Viticulture World. I hope you now understand what this expansion has to offer and that it sounds interesting. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.